a little hiccup there, but we are live again with the last three minutes of our 10 minute discussion here. And so let's just get right back to it. Jürgen Habermas was someone who understood the difficulties of going into life and saying, there are wrongs here, and sometimes I'm guilty of having committed some of them. And so he viewed things as we must have a society that meets the needs of all of our society and not just the elite or not just a few of us. And so in our culture, it's important that we recognize moments where we can do the same. Now, obviously not all of us are living under such drastic scenario as what he is, but there are things that we can do in our culture here in Canada and the US to recognize how we can better serve and love our neighbors, especially if you call yourself a Christian. And so this week, as we have a week of remembrance, and many of us find ourselves wearing a poppy like I do right now, we need to be able to say that there have been moments where we haven't always honored everyone with Remembrance Day, and to recognize that this week is not only Remembrance Day, but it was also the National Indigenous, Vet Indigenous Veterans Day, pardon me, and so when we do things like this, it's not to placate one group or another, but to say, you know, we haven't always done things right. We haven't always honored everyone, but here we need to. And so commemorate moments like this where we can say, look, I recognize you. I see you and I thank you for what you've done for me. And I'm sorry that I haven't always seen you. And so when we do things like this, where we recognize the value of our culture, we are not watering down society, we are not placating members of our community, we are recognizing that our community is bigger than just me, it's bigger than just my immediate family, it's bigger than just the people who benefit at the top. We are recognizing how, as a community, we can better show the love of Christ. And so, it may not be something like this that you need to recognize. Maybe you already celebrated National Indigenous Veterans Day or other moments like this in our culture. Maybe instead it's just recognizing where your traditions don't align with the values that you hold. Are you practicing something that you would never consider otherwise? For those in the US, many of you have begun to recognize that Columbus Day may not be something that you want to uphold any longer because of the type of person that he did and the things that he did. And now this is all very difficult to talk about because so much of this is tied up into the traditions and values. But when we talk about these things, when we address them in the open, it makes it so much easier to say, yes, I agree with my society, or no, I don't agree with my society. And society isn't weakened for these kinds of discussions, it gets stronger. Our society is dependent on our ability to criticize our traditions and ourselves. Imagine, you find yourself in a church and you see the advent wreath at the front. If every year we just lit the candles and no one ever explained why, would you keep doing it? or would it not make any sense? Would you keep lighting it because it's tradition? Or would you understand each year that, you know, it's just candles and get rid of it? When we understand the reasons for why we do things in our culture, it strengthens our resolve to do them when they're things that are good, and it calls us into account when it's things that are not. Consider the lived experiences of others. Consider yourself. Consider what it is that aligns with what you believe and what doesn't, and practice accordingly. That is the call of Jürgen Habermas to us today, and understand who we are as a society is not less for asking questions, but in fact is more. The Bereans in scripture knew this in Acts, and so we today can do likewise. That's been our 10-minute discussion in two parts tonight for Jürgen Habermas. If you haven't caught the first half of this, you can find it on my page. I'll make sure to tag each one appropriately so you don't miss out. And for those of you watching on YouTube, you probably didn't even notice because they're both together in one video here. So, all right. Uh, God bless everyone, and we'll see you next week. We'll start a new series, so if you're interested to see what that is for next week, stay tuned on Friday. There will be an announcement for what next week's blog series will be starting with. Anyway, we'll see you all. Have a great night, everyone.